Hello everyone and welcome to Ballads and Bards Bookhouse YouTube channel. I'm CA Watts. I'm going to be taking you through getting a domain name today. Now your domain name is attached to your website as well as email addresses for your small business. Now there's also a lot more to them than that but for the starting of a small business those two things are uh, a definite necessity and that's initially what we developed our domain name for as well as to prevent other people from using it. So we are going to type in Google Domains. Now when we click on our Google Domains link it's going to take us to our homepage because we're already signed in. Now when you click on it, if you don't already have one, then all of these are pretty much going to be blank. So you'll have one that looks like this with each of these, and you're going to click get a new domain because your My Domains page will just be blank. So when we initially looked up Ballads and Bards Bookhouse, we can see that .com is not available. So we could purchase the .com.au or the .info. We wouldn't do the .org or the .net. Um, they're not commonly used, nor the .info. Um, we're also not an organization. We're a company which is specifically for .org users. So let's just say we would like to purchase the .com.au. So we are going to add that one to our basket. These are all of the different um, options as well. So if you type in something and it's not available, it'll give you a bunch of similar ones that would still work for you or that might still work for you. So now that we've done that, we're going to get into our basket, which currently contains three items. Okay, so we are at the balladsandbardsbookhouse.com.au and it asks for more information to register the domain. So the business name has to be exactly what you registered as uh, your Australian business name when you registered for your ABN. The business type, you could be a registered business, a sole trainer, trader, or a partnership, depending on what uh, your company is. If it is uh, a larger company where you've got uh, investors and multiple shareholders and things of that nature, um, that goes beyond our scope. But um, predominantly, it'll be the a registered business or a sole trader. The ID category is the Australian business number. And then it will ask you to put in your ABN here. And then it is an exact match, an acronym or an abbreviation of the company or trading name. And then we just hit accept, but because we haven't put in that information, then it's only going to give us a uh, error message. So we then scroll down here. Our custom email. There are different options here. The standard is 1680. Business plus is 25. So we just sit on the business starter pretty much just because we use it for the sake of getting that personalized email for a more professional feel. And you create an admin account. I just put some dummy names in here for that. And then it will show you that what is due and you hit checkout, go through the payment methods. And then you will end up with a homepage that looks like this. It tells you whether or not your privacy protection is on or off, what services you have added and uh, when you expire. So we have three years currently on 
our domain name and you can add those on. You can buy one year and then add more on later. I could go down here, go to change renewal setting and then I could add more years on up to that 10 years that you initially had the ability to purchase. If I get into email, then that's where you find access to your admin console for Google Workspace. And down here, you can see all of these different aliases. So these are all of our Ballads and Bards Bookhouse email addresses that people can contact us on. And they all get re-diverted to River's personal email. And then depending on who the person is trying to contact, whether it's one of our authors, here's me, or if they're uh, contacting us regarding sales or information regarding submissions, then um, she can direct those to the right people depending on who they're after. Over here on a website, we connected our Wix site and then we were able to build. But that will be another video. So familiarize yourself, particularly with the domain homepage and your Google Workspace uh, home console. And this will allow you to keep track of everything all in one spot. So you can add users or delete users, updating the user's name or email address or creating um, alternative email addresses or the aliases like you could see on our Google Domains homepage. Just remember, if you add a user, then that's an additional $8.40 each month, uh, depending on what package you have. Billing, you can manage your subscriptions, which at this stage is just the subscription to Google Workspace itself. Uh, and that comes out on the first of every month. And then here, you can change your primary domains, add a domain or manage your domains. Now, we purchased our domain through Google, but there are many other domain holders that uh, you can transfer to if you so choose. Now, Google is, it's just so big and it has everything all encompassing. It has Gmail and Google Workspace and as well as the domains and Google has Vimeo attached to it, which is what we're recording through today. And so there are just so many things that are all connected to Google that it's an all-in-one space that just makes things easier for us. So while there are many other ways of uh, purchasing a domain name and setting up your website and personal email addresses using those uh, domains. Um, Google was the one that was right for us. So just make sure that your choice is based on what is going to work best for you and your company. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I will see you next time.